say you were wrong to ever leave me alone. And now you're sorry, you're lonesome and scared. And you say you'd be happy if you could just come back home. Well, here's a quarter for someone who cares. that's not as exhilarating but it's very important because when a waltz comes on many people want to dance and so the song we're going to dance to uh, in a moment will be a waltz and what we want to teach is the basic step and then also show how to use a couple of turns with it but what's really important about the waltz is when you hear the waltz come on uh, there's a couple things it doesn't sound like a two-step that's the way you know it's a waltz um, I won't lecture but there's a couple things I despise. Number one is don't drop somebody on the floor. Uh, and the other thing I, is a toss up for me is keeping time versus somebody who tries to do a two step to a waltz. And so a waltz usually is a one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But if you're not a music person or get the rhythm, it just doesn't feel like a two step. That's usually a clue that it's something else. Um, so I'll teach the basic step to it. And then uh, we'll throw in a inside outside turn and uh, rotation and then add some stuff in a, a future lesson. So for the waltz, um, you do present just like you would in a two-step, right? Left hand for gentleman out, um, right for the follow, and then your hand is on the upper back near the shoulder blade, and then her hand is uh, near your shoulder. And the way that um, I think about this for timing, just, just like two-step where it's quick, quick, slow, so it's left, left, right, um, it's completely different than that. Think of it as walking where you just go left, right, left, right, left, right. So think of like single step where you're alternating, but think of it in threes. So it's left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And if you just think of walking through it, and I think it's especially important. I remember when I was teaching you waltz, not, you're the better dancer, but for waltz, the thing I think that clicked for you was just keep thinking single step to move your feet alternating and all of a sudden things work. And so the way I like to tell uh, folks for waltz is if you just think of keeping time by marching and mar marching, because I used to teach marching there, but you alternate left to right, left, just walk straight through it. But you emphasize the major beat. And so you'll see a lot of times when looking at the dance floor, it tends to move on the predominant beat like that. But the feet are always moving to the primary beat. So it's left, right, left, right, left, right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the way that you uh, keep time to the waltz. The other thing I like to uh, impress is it's usually a big, small, small, big, small, small for steps. Um, do you have any comments on that? I, I didn't mean to offend you. I was just trying to give some tips. I feel like I may have offended you. No, it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. Here we go. Okay, we might have to do another video. But anyway, <laughs> any tips off or on following? No. It's just the opposite of what I'm saying, though. It's primary step is right, left, right, left, right, left. And it, it is a bigger than two small steps also for you. Is that true? Yeah, but sometimes it's a, a smaller step and sometimes you turn me one direction or the other, so I have to pay attention to which way you're about to go. Sure. So that the big step is either this way or just here. Right. So for teaching uh, waltz, the number one thing to remember is uh, the feet always alternate. And then think of making sure you get the primary step with a little bit bigger. Sometimes you can even cheat. It's almost like step, cheat, cheat, step, cheat, cheat. And when they start to speed up, and there's some songs we'll do where they are faster, I actually do cheat. Because I'm getting older, I can't keep up with it anymore. But um, for these songs, they're kind of pitching down the middle. I think you can keep up with the time. So um, the way we do the waltz, real quick one more time, is that we simply walk through it like time. So it's left, right, left. Right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, 
And so that whole time I just alternated. There was no quick, quick, slow. It was this alternate, alternate, alternate. So gentlemen, if you want to put something in your iPhone, write the word alternate, write straight time, write left, right, left, something just to let you know that it's not two-step. Um, all the good stuff is waltz, like what, Tennessee whiskey, strawberry wine, uh, here's a quarter, like you just heard. Um, I actually think we're gonna play strawberry wine here in a minute. And those are the songs that usually somebody badly wants to dance to. And so if you can waltz and just walk straight time through it, it's a great time to ask for a partner. Is that true? Yeah. Is that true? Yes. Everyone in the bar, there's like no one here, but if, <laughs> if there were a lot of people here, there would be a ton of hands that just went up for wanting to dance to strawberry wine. Of girls. Of girls. Yeah, I, I don't know that the guys are trying to dance to strawberry wine, but when girls hear that, it's all true, and I know that you're watching these videos not to hear us talk, is to watch us, well, not even to watch us dance, but to learn. So that's how I teach the waltz basic step um, and the red flag for how you know it's not a two step. And then I just wanted to give you a couple other things that'll help. So, one thing that uh, feels like you're doing something that's not much is imagine if you're walking uh, straight around the dance floor, uh, following the flow on the outside. The other thing that um, tends to be nothing but it's something is just to do a simple rotation. And that's basically doing a 180 with your partner, but you don't sit here and just like turn around like right here, like you're in eighth grade doing a turn. You have to think of it as, and if you're the lead, think of it as doing a walk through. It's almost like you're doing a larger path with a curl and coming back. And so you're giving room to do a 180 or a 360, but you don't stay still, you're still moving. If you stay still, the person behind you, and that's your job to not get in their way and not run over the person in front of you, I'm not that person. I'm the person that gets run into. But it's your job uh, to make sure that you stay with the flow. So if you do a rotation, it goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two. And so you, you take a larger step, especially if you're gonna do it, make sure the first step is larger. And you don't have to do much, but this a part of leading is giving a little bit of energy of what you're doing. And so I, I slightly lift with my left hand, like, hey, we're going somewhere. And I also slightly, I don't nudge, but I, use energy to basically say, my body's going that way with a larger first step. And so it's left, right, left, right, left, right. And I've heard you say before you like that. Yes. Yeah, and it's nothing more than just turning around. And if, if, if you like it that much, you can do it two times in a row. So I call that just a rotation or a simple churn, but you aren't doing anything more than just turning around 180 to 360 degrees. If you do 180, and I'll do this, I'm gonna take my big first step, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I choose to go backwards, at this point, if you're the lead, guess what? The job for not hitting that person is still yours. You need to have not turned when there's people there and you're still looking to make sure that you aren't gonna collide. And then when you come out of it, you also make sure that you didn't hit them or them. So it's very easy to do, but usually the right place to do it, think of it as a square with a circle, the best place to do a rotation is in the outer parts of the circle where there's less people uh, going around. Not a geometry lesson, but it's where there's extra room. Okay, so that's uh, how to do a rotation. Two other things to toss in and then we'll demonstrate it um, and maybe come back, say a few words and call it a day. An inside turn and an outside turn. It's just like when you're two-stepping, right? You're, you're in this position. When you do an outside turn, you give a slight prep by pulling back and you come back around and I usually just bring her around half and then bring her back. If, if you want to do more than that, you can, but I recommend something like that is very simple. So if we're just one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. If it's easily, what's different is you're used to doing turns over two counts. Now you're doing turns over three counts. And so it's actually slower, so you have to calm down. You might be excited about having a dance partner. The irony is you have to calm down and uh, you take more time to do the turn. It's actually easier. Uh, any comments on that? No. Is it harder to go slower? Does it require any thoughts on your end or is it just follow the follow? Sometimes. I've been dancing. Okay, there you go, sometimes. <laughs> All right, and so, um, Maybe that's enough. So we'll uh, just do a simple basic here. The principles here are make sure that the first step is the larger one, so larger. You can cheat if you want. If you're gonna do a rotation, make sure you give a little energy of you doing it. 
use your mirrors. If you end up doing a 180, you're now in charge of not running over the person behind you. If you do a 360, keep moving so that you don't get run over. And then if you're gonna do a turn, I, pre I prefer to do just a half turn as a starting lesson. So I just did an outside turn, brought her around for three counts and brought her back for three counts. And then um, we'll do all of that to the song. I'll probably toss in a few things that we're gonna teach in some subsequent lessons, but the big thing is keep time and uh, make sure you're staying with the flow on the dance floor for the waltz. Always a great time to get a dance. If you've been waiting to find somebody to dance with or catch your eye across the room, girl crush, Strawberry Wine, Tennessee Liskey, Blue, Keith Urban, those are your songs to go ask. If you sit there through those songs, you missed your moment. Is, am I right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what do I know? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do this now. Uh, I think we're doing Girl Crush. Or no, we're doing a ten Strawberry Wine. What do I know? He was working through college On my grandpa's farm I was thirsting for knowledge And he had a card Yeah, I was caught somewhere between a woman and a child One rest the sun Thank you. 